Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some Grumpy Sunshine recommendations for you. I am obsessed with Grumpy Sunshine romances, it's one of my favorite tropes of all time, but today I'm specifically going to be talking about Grumpy Sunshine romances where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine. I'm very excited, I love these romances, I love this dynamic so much, so let's get started. The first one that I would love to mention is one of my favorites of all time. This is Broken Vow by Miss Sophie Lark. This is the fifth book in her Brutal Birthright series, which is a mafia romance series. This is the romance between Raylan and Riona. Oh, it's so, so good. So it's a mafia romance series. Riona is a part of a mafia family. She is a lawyer. And at the beginning of this book, someone is out to unalive her. Her family and friends thinks that it's a very good idea to get her bodyguard, enter Raylan, who is this sunshine cowboy hero, who is there all in to take care of Riona, to care for her, to protect her, and to love her. Even though she doesn't want the love. She doesn't want it. She's like very closed off and guards her heart very well. She finds it very annoying that this cowboy can just like break down all those walls for her. This man is just like everything. I love him so much. Like some of these men are like some of my favorite men of all time to read about because they're like these sunshiny cinnamon roll type and um I love how he was very persistent in like a respectful way persistent in um showing his affection and everything towards Riona like he knew that Riona was gonna be his he's like you're gonna be mine I'll be patient I'll wait for you but just know like I'm in love with you so I love this man oh and yeah, it's about him protecting her and figuring out who's out to unalive her. There's a little bit of a suspense aspect in here, um, but Riona does fall for him. Don't worry, she falls in love with this ruggedly handsome cowboy. Another one of my favorite men of all time is Ren Bergman. <laughs> I love Ren Bergman so much. He is a hockey player and this is his romance with Frankie, who is like the social media manager of the hockey team. Frankie in here has RA, she's autistic, she walks with a cane, I love her. She's like a grumpy grump woman, but she's a hardcore boss lady. Like I love her so much. Another man in here that is like, you're gonna be mine, I'm gonna be patient and wait for you, that is Ren Berkman. He knows that like in the few years that they've known each other, like Frankie hasn't been ready for a relationship, so he's just gonna be friends with her. But uh, Frankie's home ends up getting broken into and she doesn't have a place to stay while the windows and doors are getting fixed up. And so it's like, come stay with me at my place. So Frankie brings all of her stuff, not all of her stuff, but some of her stuff and her dog to come stay with Ren in his like spare bedroom. And this forced proximity romance turns into Ren finally revealing his feelings towards Frankie and it is so beautiful and Frankie's like hmm I never really thought about it but uh I found myself staring at your butt a lot so I think I think that means something <laughs> so I love both of them so much and Ren is like oh, he is the perfect man like Chloe Lisa wrote the perfect man and it is Ren Bergman like I just want to put him on my copying machine and make him into like real life so he can be mine Sorry, Frankie, but I need Ren to be by. <laughs> Next, I have Next to You by Hannah Bottom Young. This is her second book in the next series, but you could totally read them out of order if you want to. This is about Matt and Lane, and this is a friends to lovers romance between the two of them. They've been friends for about a year or more, I want to say. And Lane, I don't want to say she's necessarily a grump, but she's. I really, really feel for her because she tries to be as happy as possible, but she has anxiety and it kind of overrides her at times and has her think about the worst case scenario like all the time. So I really relate to her. So that definitely affects her mood. Whereas Matt in here is constantly smiling and happy, like, and he loves being around Lane. I love him so much. Anyway, so Lane in here, it's her birthday. I think like her 30th, 28th birthday, whatever the case may be around that age range. And um, she gets a little bit, too much to drink. She has a little too much to drink that night and ends up buying a bus online and is going to fix it up to be a mobile home of sorts to live in. And Matt happens to own a mechanic shop and he's going to help her fix it up to live in. And while they're working on this project together, they spend more time together. They end up going on the road, traveling places, maybe admitting the feelings they've had for each other for quite a long time. I love this one so much. It's super sweet. Matt in here is just everything. 
and I love how sweet and caring he is towards Lane. Teach Me by Olivia Dade is my next one. This is about two teachers who are older. I think both these characters are in their 40s if I'm not mistaken. Um, so older than what you typically see in a romance book. I'm not saying that 40 year olds are old, by the way. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying typically you see like young 20 year olds in romances. These characters are in their 40s. And our heroine in this one, she is a history teacher. And some of her classes end up getting taken away for the new teacher who's coming in who happens to be her hero. So she's a little bit butthurt that this guy took some of her classes, even though he had no clue. He had no clue that her classes were getting taken away at all. Um, and so she's a little bit grumpy and mean towards him at first. Um, and he just doesn't know why. And he can't help but also be obsessed with someone at the same time. He's like falling for her, even though she's not the nicest to him. He's like, I mean, I don't care. She's amazing. <laughs> So um, it's about them falling for each other, about the heroine slowly breaking down her built high walls. She is a divorcee and um, she has experienced quite a lot of bad things when it comes to men. Now here is here kind of like to show her how um, he's different than her ex-husband and that he would be there for her in every possible way. So this one was really sweet. If you want more of a slow burn one, I definitely recommend it. I have to talk about a Talia Hibbert book. This is a girl like her. This is, I don't know if this was my first book that I read by Talia Hibbert. I think it was, I don't remember, honestly. It's the great start to a series. This is the first book in the Ravenswood series. This is about Ruth and Evan and they are next door neighbors. Evan just moved into the apartment next door to Ruth's and he is just a golden retriever. He is so happy, he loves to cook. And so he brings like a tray of something that he cooked for Ruby to like be neighborly um to say hi to his new neighbors and to give her something to eat and she's like a little hermit who stays in her apartment all day long and works she loves comics is obsessed with them but she doesn't want to talk to anybody like she's like kind of like the town outcast like her town her small town doesn't really like her um so she like locks herself up in her apartment and she's happy she's good with it and evan really wants to get to know ruth more so he makes a deal with her he's like I can tell you're really into comics. How about in exchange for me bringing you meals because you don't cook like at all. Like that's not healthy, Ruth. Like you need to, you need some fresh food. Like you need food. You can't be ordering out all the time. So I'm gonna make you something to eat every now and then. And in exchange, like you'll let me borrow some of your comic books. And so we can have something to talk about when I come visit you. And she reluctantly agrees. Um, and I just love Ruth. I love her. She is so unashamedly herself. She's also autistic and I love that representation in here. And uh, I love them so much. She's like so confident in herself and doesn't really care that other people don't like her. And Evan is there to just bask in her presence. Another Tully Hibbert one that I'd love to mention is Wrapped Up In You. Um, and this is perfect to pick up and put on your TBRs for December for next month because this is a holiday read. So our heroine in here is best friends with the hero. Growing up, they were best friends. And he never really went to Christmas with his own family. He always went to her house because her grandma throws like an amazing Christmas dinner and everything. So um, he's very close with her and her brother. So he's like basically like adopted into their family of sorts for holidays and stuff. Um, so they're like best friends. He ends up actually becoming kind of like the Chris Hemsworth of sorts in America because this takes place in England and he ends up like becoming a famous actor in America, he becomes like kind of like a superhero, like a famous superhero, like on a movie and stuff. And he comes back to the town for Christmas. Um, he's very famous, but the fame trope isn't a big aspect in here, which I very much appreciated because I don't love the fame trope. But anyway, the heroine's like been pining after him for so long, but she's like, he's never gonna want me. He's like this hot shot actor now, like that's not gonna happen. But she doesn't know that this year our hero is finally going to admit his feelings that he's always had for his best friend. Like he's finally going to admit to her how he feels. And oh my gosh, I was swooning hardcore in this one. It's so cute. I love like also the Christmas vibes in this one. It's perfect for the Christmas season. And another Christmas one I'd love to mention really fast is Stocking Stuffers by Erin McClellan. Our heroine in this book doesn't really see herself in a relationship like at all. She's not the relationship type. She's I think she was previously engaged and her fiance like completely wrecked relationships for her. So she's like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna be doing relationships, no, no. And um, she's kind of a grumpy woman, but it's fine, we love her. Um, <laughs> and this is her romance with a guy. Oh, let me first say this book takes place at like a bed and breakfast um, in this small town. The heroine is selling some products at this bed and breakfast and they end up all getting snowed in there. And this was her romance with the owner of the bed and breakfasts brother like right when he sees her he's like he is zeroed in on her like 
jaw dropped thinks she is stunning um and is like um I really like you uh it's we're snowed in here you want to like do something <laughs> so they have like this tryst together during uh the snowstorm but it's another great read to read during the christmas season so i know that's next month so be sure to check these two christmas ones out the last three books i have to mention are like paranormal monster ish alien romance ones um so first is a novella this is blood moon by jillian graves this is the romance between a witch and a vampire it's a paranormal romance i love it so much so our heroine here hazel owns this bar for like paranormal creatures and she has had some bad luck recently because like this club ended up um being made like across the street from her bar and she's losing some of her clientele some of her business and she's not very happy um so she goes off one night close to halloween goes to her friend's house who's having like this party for monsters and stuff and gonna like go let some steam up steam off and there she ends up meeting vlad who's a vampire and she has a grand old time with him in one of the guest bedrooms. She's like, mm-hmm, great. But then she ends up figuring out that he actually is the manager to the club across the street. And she's like, oh, no, 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 not happening. Vlad in here doesn't care. He's like, I'm obsessed with you. You are like stunning. I love you, not yet, but like basically he's like in love with her at first sight, honestly. And he's like, I don't really care that we have rivaling businesses. We can separate those two things, you know what I mean? And she's like, no, like you've been stealing from my business that I worked so hard for that's not happening um and yeah she's trying to deal with whether or not she should get with this guy even though he owns the business or is running the business he doesn't own it runs the business across the street from hers that's like wrecking her life stream yeah she's very grumpy <laughs> she's a very grumpy woman um and is not afraid to express herself in the things that she's grumpy about I mean, Vlad is all in. He is so smiley and sunshiny for a vampire. Like he's a vampire. You would think it's like the other way around that the witch is the sunshine and the vampire's the grump, but no. He is so happy all the time and I love him. Next up, When She's Weary, I of course have to mention a Ruby Dixon one. Um, so the heroine of this story, she was actually kidnapped from Earth like many Ruby Dixon books. And she has experienced quite a lot of trauma in her life, some abuse because of the aliens who kidnapped her. And she ends up living on this planet full of human refugees who own like farms and stuff. So the hero of this story, he's a Praxian, which is an alien creature. Um, you can go look it up on Ruby's website or whatever, some of her pictures if you wanna know what a Praxian looks like. Um, but he goes up to her doorstep one day on her farm um, because he needs to escape something. He comes up knocking on her door. And from the moment he sees her, he's like, oh my gosh, you're stunning. Like, I want to get to know you. When she first meets him, she like tases him. So <laughs> like, she's like not into that. She's like, I don't know you. Do not come on my property. And this is about him like slowly dipping a toe into basically her pool of being comfortable. He'll just sit on her doorstep for hours waiting for her to open the door because he wants to talk to her or will literally talk to her through a door or like he'll stand all the way at the end of the driveway so she can be comfortable um, and like talk to her that way, like, scream shout at her in order to have a conversation. Um, and so slowly but surely she ends up being more comfortable with him um, cause she's experienced quite a lot of horrible things because of like alien men. Um, and he's very understanding of that and is gonna be very patient with her. So I love these two. And the last one that I have to mention is another alien romance. This is Using Feho by Victoria Aveline. This is like, I don't wanna, I don't know if it's my favorite book, but it's like one of my favorite books in the Clocanian series by her, which is a fantastic alien romance series if you have not checked it out yet. Um, like if you're wanting alien romances, and you're not very familiar with alien romances you want to get into it or monster creatures kind of like freak you out or something like these aliens basically look like us like humans but like they live on another planet and he has like like tattoos and glowing things on him you know what i mean so like he doesn't have like monster parts to him <laughs> if that's what you're worried about so if you're just wanting to read about like these read like fantasy romances they just take place on another planet what is my dad doing he's like smashing rock or something my apologies anyway <laughs> oh my gosh give me a second the heroine of this story um is one of the human women who one of the first group of human women who were illegally taken from earth and put onto clicania by some evil people sorry if you hear smashing oh my gosh what is he doing this is my last book come on dad so the women were taken by some evil, a gr evil, gr evil group of people. There you go on the planet. And like the majority of the planet, like don't approve of that whatsoever. They end up escaping those horrible people and the human women have a choice to like 
marry one of the guys in order to like integrate into society better. So the heroine of the story actually, she wants to go back to earth. She's like, I need to figure out how to go home because I think she's a sister, if I'm not mistaken. She's like, I need to get back to her. She decides to marry a space pirate named Feho, who is all smiles and charm. Um, and he has no idea that the heroine is using him in order to possibly get back to Earth. And he may or may not be heartbroken when he figures that out. So there's some groveling and some stuff in here, but I love this alien romance. It's so good. It's like, I think my second favorite in the series. I love it. Anyways, there you have it. Those were some Grumpy Sunshine romance recommendations. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, but if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the sun emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one and hopefully without the banging. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>